Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, I'm Claire Marie B. Today I wanted to share with you my really easy weight loss bullet journal spreads that I've set up to hopefully give you some tips and inspiration for your bullet journal. I lost quite a lot of weight before the pandemic and like most people I've gained some weight throughout lockdown. Not all of it back but I've definitely gained a little bit and I want to lose that in a healthy way. So I've created these easy bullet journal stretch spreads for me to help keep me focused and on track. I'm not a medical expert, these bullet journal spreads are not a healthy eating plan if that's what you were looking for in this video. These are my um, bullet journal spreads where I can keep a track of what I'm doing and help to keep me motivated. So if you're looking to lose weight then please get advice from a professional so that you can do so in a healthy way. Okay, so I wanted to start by saying that these are not magic spreads. <laughs> Writing and filling these in are not going to make me lose weight. Um, and it's the work that I put into being healthy that's going to do that. This first spread for me is so important because that's going to help to keep me focused. So it's my goals page. Here I'm going to fill in not just what I want to achieve, but how I'm going to do that. It's really important that my goals are realistic, that they're achievable, and also how I'm going to get there. So yes, I want to lose weight, but I want to focus on what is the impact of that weight loss. I want to be healthier, I want to be fitter, I want to be more confident, so that'll all go into this goals page. But on the how, that's where I keep hold myself accountable. Am I sticking to a healthy eating plan? Am I drinking enough water? What about exercise? What am I committing to? And then finally the affirmations bit that I wrote at the bottom. I'm really, really tough on myself all of the time. So I've included affirmations there to maybe give myself a bit of a break and to give myself some credit on how far I've come instead of beating myself up for not being where I want to be. So it's all about motivation on that first page. On to the second page. This is where I'm going to track my actual weight loss. So I've made this like a race track. I have a starting point and then a finish line, which you can see I've just finished colouring in. And then I'm doing some dots, some circles, all around my little markers, all around the page of um, my achievements. You can easily have more dots on this page. You'll see I've really spaced it out. Or you can have different dots representing different amounts of weights. One pound, two pound, one kilogram, etc. I'm just going to join up each of those those dots up almost like a like a path that I'm going to be following and I'm going to color in each dot when I achieve that weight loss. Hopefully I might get a dot a week if that's that's maybe me being a little bit ambitious. <laughs> At the bottom here I'm drawing a table where I'm going to put key milestones and the dates that I've achieved them. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's specific weight loss because I'll be able to see that above but it may be things like I'm back in my skinny jeans or there's a really big hill in the park that I go to and you know when have I climbed up to the top of that at what sort of speed without having to pause or take a breath or yeah or how I'm feeling or I get to the top and I'm feeling really good and I can do it a couple of times over. That's the sort of thing that I'm going to be putting in the bottom of in, in the table at the bottom of that page. So as you can see there the date that I've done it and the achievement of what I have achieved. Okay, my next page. This is super, super simple. And it may seem like, mm, why does she need this? Um, but this is my shopping list essentials. It's uh, it's super simple because it's basically going to be a title and a black, <laughs> black page until I fill it in. Um, but the reason why it's so important is this is where I'm going to be listing all the key foods that I like as part of my healthy eating plan. And I'm going to break it down to where I get them from as well so which supermarkets 
it's important for me because if I go and I don't have a plan, I'm going to walk around those aisles and something is going to catch my eye. It's going to be the baked goods, guys. It's going to be, it's going to be stuff like that that's going to go into my basket. Where or when I'm, if I shop when I'm hungry, that's when I do that as well. The shopping list is going to help to keep me focused and on track, and I can go in on a mission just to buy those things that I need. And yeah, it'll speed me up in the supermarket as well. So that's always going to be good. On the right hand side, this is where I'm going to be putting my favourite meals. I don't know about you, but when I'm following a healthy eating plan, I tend to get into a bit of a routine or a rut where I'm having exactly the same meals all the time. And it's just kind of like my go to thing, especially if I'm going to the shops and I'm, I'm being really quick and, and get, grabbing everything, I tend to just end up with just salads or roast veg and things like that. So I forget what, what other meals are like and the healthy eating plan that I have is so good. There's loads of different great meals that I can have. In these boxes, I'm going to be putting breakfast, lunch and dinners of those favourite meals. This way I can shake things up a bit each week. I've got a bit of a go-to guide and a place to come to to think, what do I want to have? I can do a bit of meal planning from this and I can make sure that I'm having a variety because that's one of the things that's really important for me each week to keep it interesting, to keep me motivated. And I've tried to, um, I've tried to make sure that I have a different meal each week. So try and include something new, a new recipe or try something new. Um, again, yeah, to keep me motivated and, and to keep it to keep it a little bit interesting because it can get boring if you're just having salad every single day. I like to, to shake it up and have something different and try some different foods as well. I'm not super adventurous, but it is important to keep it to keep it interesting. And that's my spreads complete and my final flip through. Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll get notifications when I release new content and I'll see you again soon. Bye.